Uh, I was 10 years old in 1969. I think I was at my grandma's house that day. I'm, I'm not sure, was it a Sunday? I'm not sure what the exact day it was, but I was at my grandma's house and uh, we watched it on TV. Uh, a lot of times it seemed surreal, like it wasn't a real thing happening, but it was. That was, uh, that was it, and it was kind of a momentous deal, nobody could believe it. It seemed like for years and years they talked about landing somebody on the moon, and all of a sudden they did. September 12, 1962. Giving a speech at Rice University, President John F. Kennedy declares a national goal of landing a man on the moon by the end of the decade. Seven years later, the goal was accomplished, proving to be one of the most technologically and financially demanding goals in human history. On July 16, 1969, a massive Saturn V rocket, 30 stories tall and weighing almost 3 million kilograms carried three astronauts into orbit around their home planet. These three explorers were Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. They endured the four-day journey ahead of them in their small command capsule. And once there, Armstrong and Aldrin entered the Lunar Excursion Module, or EAGLE, as it was codenamed, detached from the command module, and ascended to the lunar surface. Collins was to pilot the command module in orbit while the other two performed the surface mission. After an intense two hour long descent, Armstrong and Aldrin managed to place Eagle on the surface and stayed inside the lander for another three hours until leaving for a historic stroll on the moon. Armstrong was to leave first as he was the mission commander. He stepped outside on the porch of the lander and started on the ladder, pausing once to listen he neared the bottom of the ladder and looked down at the regolith beneath him, noting that it looked almost like a powder. Finally, he stepped off and uttered the words we all know to this day. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was July 20th, 1969, and humanity had just set foot on another celestial body. The Apollo missions would continue until 1972, when Apollo 17 last left the Silver Sands of our satellite. It has been over 40 years since then. Despite that length of time, the efforts of those three astronauts and the millions of people that helped them achieve the nation's goal of landing on the moon continues to inspire influence us to this day and will likely continue to do so in the future. The way how the moon landings made me feel is just it makes me feel so happy that we live in a time and place in which we have the technology and the money and the courage to do so that we can land on a giant ball that is orbiting above our heads as we speak. Since the last Apollo mission, billions of people have wondered, will we ever go back? If so, who will carry the torch lit by Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins all those years ago? Maybe, just maybe.